$400 per ton in the coming quarter and then scales to around $500 per ton. And in case things come up, like in terms of an inorganic growth, then maybe Hindu Sun Copper is what you look at for the time being. Organic growth is what you're satisfied with. Gurmi Chadda is still with us. Hi, Gurmi. Thanks so much uh, for, uh, you know, waiting by. You heard that conversation, I'm guessing, with Hindalco. They're sounding optimistic on the future. But what's your take on Hindalco? Do you have a preference to the ferrous space or would you like to avoid it altogether? No, it's, it's, it's there in our, uh, uh, you know, coverage and watch list uh, more tactically, Nigel, because you have to take it quarter by quarter. That's the nature of the business. But, you know, what I liked is they, they uh, while they withdrew the short-term guidance on the end-user uh, industries, they have maintained the long-term guidance. So, for example, on cans, which is beverage cans, which saw, saw some destocking uh, post-COVID, they're maintaining like 4% kind of a demand. Auto is like close to about 11%. And then, the, you know, you have this entire specialty products where they are maintaining. So, and also very reasonable valuations, I think five, six times EV by EBITDA, uh, you know, which which is fairly, uh, you know, reasonable. Uh, so something which is more structural, which I like uh, is is Mukan. The, the, probably the impact will come in next quarter uh, because the, the land sale proceeds came in Jan. So may not get reflected uh, in the numbers coming next week, but that's a more ownership change with Bajaj Group at 72% uh, stake, uh, turnover going up to 6,000 crores, almost 15 1800 crores of debt getting reduced uh, and you know very 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 strong player in uh, specialty and alloy steel so that is something we have more for medium term uh, tata steel hindalco are more more tactical for us in our in our coverage Okay, by the way, in pre-opening, some very interesting moves on individual stocks. Zomato is down 3% uh, on the back of uh, perhaps, you know, the net loss, just net net loss on the bottom line has gone up. So it's about 350 crores of loss versus a loss of 250 crores last quarter. So I guess that is a bit of a disappointment. The stock is down about 3%. Uh, Adani Enterprises, Adani Total Gas, Adani Transmission are all under pressure as the MSCI will be reducing weightage over there. So it's all down about 8 to 10%. And on the upside, you have something like uh, an MTAR Tech, HPCL and Sula Vineyards that are looking pretty good. So um, keep an eye out on those stocks. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I know you did say, Gurmeet, a while back that you would want to see some conclusive evidence of a pickup in profitability for Zomato, right, before taking a call over there. Is that your view across the board on these new age tech companies? Paytm has displayed some level of profitability, Nika as well. So what would you do with the rest of the pack now? And also on Zomato, after this 3% fall, what is your view? So, so yeah, you know, we are tracking even Paytm. And I think you see Paytm's uh, uh, focus on profitability is largely led by lending. Uh, so they did like 7,000 crores in Q2 this, this quarter. They almost did 10,000 crores. And if you see the take rate, that's where they make money. Two and a half to three and a half percent they make upfront uh, on, on these loans. Uh, uh, payments is about seven to nine bips, uh, and you will not see them talking much about GMBs now, uh, which was you know largely payment driven kind kind of a platform. They also make decent money on uh, on insurance. The active device merchant active devices uh, subscription fee plus the ability to cross sell. My worry on lending is that again fifty percent of the lending is this buy now pay later, which they call Paytm postpaid. But ticket sizes are small, and you know delinquencies could be higher. So you probably have to see one full credit cycle. Uh, but be be between the two, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, financial products have a higher impact, I think I think it's a relatively better place. But in general, as I said, you know, I would have heard there are so many opportunities. I look at the thrashing pharma stocks have uh, got uh, some of some, uh, you know, most of the names, even in some of the banks, I think there's too much excessive concern on systemic risk, which I think is a little overblown right now. So there are other opportunities and, and in this market, it has to be risk adjusted returns. And this is the point I've been making uh, for some time. Uh, Gurmeet, we leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining in. By the way, the print across Asia is weakening now. Hang Seng is down 